Hi, in this video, I will show you how to get started with the Commerce Tools TypeScript SDK and a GraphQL API. In this video, we're going to retrieve the project settings using um, TypeScript SDK and also querying using GraphQL. So I've already have a, I've used a GraphQL ID, GraphQL, and you can see uh, the query. Uh, the project, I get all these um, details and I get these results. And let's see how it's gonna do this using a TypeScript SDK and how to call this GraphQL API to get the project details. So when I'm talking about project details, I'm talking about the project settings. So we're gonna get the details about the project settings. So let's get started. So the first step is I have to get a create an API client. So for that, um, it says that I have to create it using the following the steps. If I already don't have an account, I have an account and create an API client. This is how I'm going to do it. I go to the developer settings. I'm going to go there. I'm going to choose the admin client for now and I can say GraphQL. GraphQL. API yeah. I client for demo. Okay, so I'm gonna create this and now I get my client credentials. I'm interested in JavaScript Node.js, so I get these details and I also get these details. So it says it's getting a client credentials to use Commerce Tool. So from the API client details page mentioned about from a previous step, copy these values and the Commerce Tool API client ID to authenticate the request to make API. And I'm already in this page. I'm gonna keep this open and I'm also gonna delete this after this demo. And uh, it's important that you don't share this credentials with uh, outside because it's a sensitive data. And this is only for the demo purpose. Um, set up your local project. I have an empty uh, directory already, so I'm going to copy this. I'm going to create a, a, a node project. I already have um, an empty um, directory. I'm going to create this new terminal. I'm going to open the new terminal. I'm going to run this npm init, which created me a package JSON, and which is now an empty. Uh, node project and after you have done you will have a new package JSON yes I can see the package JSON I install these SDK client SDK middleware auth SDK middleware HTTP TypeScript SDK and dot env packages and save it to your package JSON depending uh, depending using the following command so it's saying that run this command so that I can install all these uh, node module dependencies I'm gonna run it so we should be able to see that uh, all the dependencies you can see here, all the dependencies, uh, which is from SDK, Commons SDK. So also you can see the TypeScript SDK, middleware, auth, HTTP, and client, and dot env. And create a new file called project.js. In the directory, I have the following code. Okay, I'm gonna create a new project file. It's called project.js and it says copy this code. So basically, we download all these modules SDK client, common tools, SDK middleware auth, SDK middleware HTTP, and middleware TypeScript SDK. So we have all these dependencies are downloaded um, and we are referencing them. And, and back to the command line, run the calling command. Okay, I'm gonna run this command. Let me clear this. You can see. Okay, I see getting started with Commerce Tools, TypeScript, SDK, and GraphQL API. If you see the same output as above, we are ready to start. Okay. In this guide, we're going to we'll get a project settings information. We'll follow the best practices to keep secret outside of your code and do not hard code sensitive data. Store the client ID and secret in the new environment variable. Create a new file called .env. So I'm going to create a new file touch.env 
and which creates me an empty dot environment dot env file so we we'll add the following code i'm going to add this code and replace the value of your client id and client secret that you copied earlier i didn't copy but i still open so i'm going to copy this the client id and my client secret and reopen the project and add the following code so i'm going to add this code now i'm going to do it in step by steps let me first copy this Okay, this is the environment variable. We get the admin client and ID and secret. And we had a project key. We have an auth middleware, HTTP middleware. And using auth middleware and HTTP middleware, we're gonna create a client. And I'm gonna copy this next line. And where we create an API route, create an API route from an API builder and commerce tools platform. Um, this is a GraphQL query, project settings query, query, project, name, language, currency, country, version, create. And this is same as what we have here in the GraphQL IDE. It's just getting the same information. And this is a query. We are storing this query, project uh, settings query. And let's move to the next code last part of this code is a sync and it's calling the api root and we call the api root and we use a graphql and this graphql and we perform a post and we pass the argument body and with the query we pass this project settings query and we don't have any variables so that's why it's kind of empty object and once the execution is done and we see that we log this project information and it says replace the value of your project key your auth url your client scope your client api url project key that you copied earlier so i didn't copy them it's still open so i'm gonna call i'm gonna get it from this so the first place I have to replace is your project key. So I'm going to replace the project key from here. And I'm going to replace this with the project key. And your auth URL. I'm going to use this auth URL. This is the auth URL. I'm going to replace my auth URL. And your client scope. I can see a scope here. I'm going to replace my scope here and what else my api url so i'm going to get my api url okay i think i'm good to go so we have prepared uh, we prepare the client uh, we prepare the client and we prepare the API builder using the TypeScript um, SDK. And we have a GraphQL query. And we're gonna use this API route and we're gonna query, we're gonna do, we're gonna perform the GraphQL call. And we're gonna pass this query and a variable. And we're gonna log our project information. Let me go to the last step run the program the output should look like the following code if, requ if the request is successful so i'm going to run this node project js again clear this i'm going to run this again so that means if the projects if, the, if everything goes well if it's success i should see this uh, status code 200 and i should also see some uh, project information or something like this Okay, I got an invalid uh, client. I got an invalid client error. Uh, TypeScript invalid client. And valid client. Let me see what's the problem. 
that process and I get to copy this. Let me check, check if valid client. What's the problem here? Make sure my client is correct. Just make sure it's secret. Secret is called uh, this typo here. So it should be this. So yeah. So let me run this again. My previously I had a, the problem was I copied uh, the wrong with the prefix. So now it should work now. So let me give it a try. You, it works now. So I get a project information, body data project, and the project information here, and I get a status 200. Yeah, this is what we get. Uh, we again to just to uh, reiterate, we used a GraphQL, we used a TypeScript SDK, and we used a query, the GraphQL query here and we were able to fetch the project settings information. I hope this was useful. Thank you very much.